Hi, welcome to this part. We are looking at part 19 for AWS Solution Architect Associate C03 certification. Please remember these are all real certification questions. Please click the join button to become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member. Please remember any certification content, intermediate level certifications are available on cloud kernel membership and advanced certifications are available on cloud ninja membership. If you have not become a member yet, please subscribe. This channel is totally dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications, AWS, Azure, and GCP. Now let us look at this question. There is, is an NLB. Please remember NLB is not for HTTP or HTTPS. If you see this HTTP, HTTPS, it is not for these. These are, so in this application, there is an application and it, these are HTTP application so first thing is nlb is a wrong choice you should use alb okay can i find an option where i have alb yes i find this option are there any other options which with alb no so c is wrong sorry c is the only correct answer see the problem that is happening is uh, you know there are various ec2 instances suppose four of them one goes bad nlb is not making a health check so alb will provide you health check options it will see which instances are unhealthy and it will not route the traffic to them. So ALB is automatically distributing the traffic across to different EC2 instances. It will do a health check. It will say, okay, these out of these four EC2 instances, three are good, one is not good. It will not route the traffic to those EC2 instances. The EC2 instances in this case are in the targets, these target groups and the targets are EC2 instances. Now A is wrong because the first thing is HTTP is not supported by NLB. So that's why A is wrong. B is wrong because it is telling you to create a custom solution. Cron job is a custom solution. When you already have a ready-made solution in the form of ALB, why will you use cron job? Always remember, if you have ready-made solution from AWS, do not create custom solutions. D says again that you will use CloudWatch alarms to monitor unhealthy host metrics for the NLB and you will configure auto scaling to replace unhealthy instances. So this is again like ALB is meant for that. Okay. Yeah. Now you are using CloudWatch alarm and you are trying to create a custom solution using that not required. First thing is NLB will not support HTTP that itself is wrong. Second is then you are trying to you know create a watch which will not work because why do you want to create a custom solution when a standard solution is available. So this would be my final answer. See here you have an application and that application is making use of DynamoDB database. So what is DynamoDB? It is a NoSQL database and it is a high performance database, single digit millisecond performance at scale. Now there is a data corruption. Okay, If a data corruption happens, you need to provide a solution that will meet the RPO of 15 minutes. What is RPO? That is called recovery point objective and RTO of one hour. So these are two important concepts. These are disaster concepts. So we always try to plan for disaster recovery. And RTO and RPO are two key metrics. One is what is RTO? It is a maximum acceptable delay between interruption of service and restoration of service. That means, for example, you have uh, SBI Bank, the app, the you know app goes down at 2 p.m. and comes up at 4 p.m. So that two hours, that is the maximum acceptable delay. So can, how much can you afford? Can you afford two hours of downtime? Can you afford eight hours? Can you afford 24 hours? Can you afford five minutes? It, it's that way. And RPO is the maximum acceptable amount of time. Uh, last recovery point. That means, for example, uh, you made a transaction in your SBI bank. Uh, you made multiple transactions. 1 p.m. you made uh, five transactions and 3 p.m. you made two transactions. Now at 3.30, uh, it goes down. So uh, RPO is like they, they are restoring it up to uh, 2 p.m. That means your five transactions is visible, but the 3 p.m. latest two transactions will not be a part of this. So that is how you have to decide what would be your recovery point objective. Do you want the data to be available right to the last minute or last five minutes? Or what is the acceptable limit, maximum acceptable limit? So that limit RPO is 15 minutes in this question. And recovery time objective is that maximum they can afford a downtime of one hour. Within a one hour, your uh, data should be. Uh, available up to 15 minutes back when the crash happened. Suppose the transactions happened at 3 p.m. and the crash happened at 3.15. So 
when you are trying to restore the restoration should happen till 3 pm whatever transactions were there you should be able to see it the transactions between 3 pm and 3 15 pm will not be visible will not be visible see here option a the problem is it is telling you to point to a different aws region for rpo recovery and they are telling you to use global tables see global tables will help you with replicating data between two regions if you have database in uh, usa and in europe you want to replicate that you can use global tables in dynamo db to do that okay this can be one of the option let's park this for now and look at other options if we get a better option see here they are telling you to configure dynamo db point in time recovery see this is nothing but it allows you to create on demand backups of your dynamo db tables that is what we want right and you can initiate continuous backups using point in time recovery so you don't have to worry about on demand backups it keeps taking the backup every time so you do not uh, need to worry about accidental writes or deletes so this is born i tell you this feature is born for this purpose this is a far better answer than option a so b would be my answer because it is continuously taking backup we can just decide which point we want to recover so we want 15 minutes so we can just choose a point and the recovery will happen and the recovery will happen instantly very fast within that one hour time period so this meets both the goals now i'm pretty sure there will be a lot of people who will say hey you know what i think c is the answer i think d is the answer so let me answer that also see c is talking about you take the data from dynamo db and put it in glacier on a daily basis okay and then for recovery you import the data from s3 glacier to dynamo db okay see as if you have uh, entire uh, time in the world to restore it okay the application has to be maximum down for one hour only you see this this one hour so this will option c will take a lot of time so that is why this is wrong let us look at d see always in the exam no one option would be a stupid option like uh, something like a very foolish option and you can identify it very clearly so this is that option d d is saying that you will take a snapshot of ebs for dynamo db so dynamo db is not on your ebs volumes or something of that sort okay and then they are saying you restore dynamo db table by using ebs snapshots this is wrong this is totally foolish actually dynamo db is a separate service available in aws nothing to do with ebs second like i always tell you if a feature has been provided a standard feature has been provided in dynamo db then why the hell why the hell you will waste your time to create a custom solution so d is trying to give you a custom solution c is trying to give you a custom solution don't waste time become lazy first thing is you have to be lazy if you are lazy then you will look what is re available ready made do you have food available ready made if yes don't cook man use that time for something else something productive if not sleep just simply sleep now this is my final answer see there is a photo processing application okay and you can upload and download pictures okay just like pixel application and other applications now suddenly you are seeing that uh, oh your data transfer costs are very high your fees are increasing okay and you want to reduce the cost now what should you do see this means there is some problem with positioning uh, your applications in the network so whenever it is a network kind of setup now i'll tell you this thumb rule whenever you see that it is something to do with gateway blah 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 do not apply your brain look for a keyword what is a keyword end point end point end point end point end point repeating it man so that it goes in your brain and during the exam you can reproduce it whenever you see such answer questions end point is your answer where do you find end point here this is your end point do not think blindly select this answer so this would be my final answer so please hit the subscribe button this channel is totally dedicated to help you clear aws azure and gcp certifications but as i say some questions i am putting free of cost but some, for some questions you will have to pay a small premium and become a member which member do not become a cloud soldier member that is only for stickers and emojis if you want questions at least become cloud kernel or cloud ninja cloud ninja is the expensive one it will give you access to all advanced certification content as well cloud kernel is cheaper one but intermediate level certifications like this one c03 you will find those there 
I hope you like this part. See you in the next part. The next part is going to be a paid part only available to Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja members. What are you waiting for? Please click the join button below this video and become a member.